The story begins here, in the Dordogne in southern France. Twenty thousand years ago, it all looked quite different. Covered in ice and snow, the haunt of woolly mammoths and reindeer, which were hunted by our small, hairy ancestors. Primitive? Yes. But here, somewhere underneath my feet, is the proof that they were like us in all the ways that really matter. With only their flickering lamps to guide them, the cavemen felt their way down into the earth. Prehistoric artists came to Lascaux, the caves were impenetrably dark. These great images were not made to be seen, still less to be sightseen. Why did they paint them here in the depth of the earth down winding corridors? Some people thought that they were priest painters making hunting magic for the tribe. But the animal the tribe lived on using every part of it, a kind of walking supermarket, was the reindeer. And they don't paint reindeer. What they paint are the great bulls and bison and the, the wild deer, all the animals they didn't hunt. But they watched them. Take my favorite image, the great horse, the Mongolian horse. The Mongolian horse doesn't really look like that, with that great sway of the belly and that sharp nose and the inspired black calligraphy of the legs. It's, dare I say it, an impressionistic horse, an impression of a horse, and yet an awed impression, almost as if the artist was not trying to show what a horse was like, but what it felt to be a horse. Or look at the great bison. These, these two great black balls of male erotic fury going to explode on one another. He's looked, the artist. He's seen that one of them is losing his coat because it's spring, the rutting season. Observation, and yet emotionally, how right. That great red streak shows something of the, the feeling of the animal. And it's this looking with awe and, and with wonder that makes Lascaux what it is. Because all these animals are beautiful. And centuries ago, when there was room on Earth for all of us, how humankind must have yearned to be strong and beautiful, free, innocent, all the things that they were not and we are not. And perhaps that's why they made these images secretly in the earth, to honor the animals. And so you see, scientifically, these are primitive people, because science advances. It's like a ladder, one step leads to another. But art isn't like that. Art is about being human. Children make art instinctively. Archaeologists know when they find evidence of art, they found evidence of human beings. It expresses all that is best in us, our, our, our desires, our hopes, our, our truth. And so art changes, but it doesn't get better. And in the great hall of the bulls, with these images of majesty and power, so strong, so dignified, we understand that painting starts at the top